Okay, state uncertainties. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Jesus. Uh, uncertainties are due to the equipment. That's the plus or minusy things. So here is the meniscus. Well, it looks quite straight on that photograph, but a meniscus, that's the curved top of the fluid in your measuring cylinder. Now, looking at that, that's 71.8 millilitres, I reckon. And the uncertainty, well, what's the smallest division? I'll draw those there. That's one millilitres. That's the smallest division. And we're going to divide by two because this is patently an analogue device, not a digital one. So the uncertainty is 0.5. You can put the millilitres too if you like. That's known as the absolute uncertainty. And that wasn't so tricky. Looking at the percentage uncertainty, oh, phone call. The percentage uncertainty, well, uh, I'm not even going to give you the equation. It's just pretty obvious, isn't it? And that comes out at 0.7%. Uncertainties are always measured to one sig fig. But my teacher says differently. Your teacher's wrong. It's only ever one sig fig. All right, this is our mass balance. It uh, has an uncertainty of plus or minus the smallest division, which is 0 0.01 grams. Since it's digital, we'd have to half that if it was analog, of course. All right, and so the mass of my chewed up pencil is 3.82 grams, plus or minus 0 0.01 grams. Now that's the absolute uncertainty, 0 0.01 grams. And I'll do the maths now to show you the uh, percentage uncertainty. What a handsome devil. Well, my interesting pencil uh, was 3.82 grams plus or minus 0 0.01 grams. That's the uncertainty there. It's the smallest division. Are you going to divide by two? No, because it's digital. Only divide by two if it's analog. And that's called the absolute uncertainty. The percentage uncertainty, well, take your uncertainty, your absolute uncertainty, divide it by the number you measured, multiply by 100, and that gives you to one sig fig, 0.3%. I think I'll put my gum back in now. Hmm.